Wayne, welcome to TFNN. You got me? I know. I, I do. You. That's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, man, you've, first off, you've done a great job. And, you know, I've seen, you know, we've all seen, you know, now what St. Pete has become. Um, and we've all seen what St. Pete, you know, St. Pete used to be a dull city, folks, okay? Oh, but guess what? When I grew up in Boston, it was the same way. So I saw people work on Boston for 30 years to make it better. And I know you've been working on to make St. Pete better for 35 years. So first off, I want to say thank you because you've done an amazing job. And I know people think that it's okay the last five or six years, but this has taken 20, 25 years. So oh, yeah. t tell us exactly, being the director of Culture Affairs, what exactly you like to do every day and how you make the city better every day. Well, um, every day trying to hook up people to who can help advance that cause to get together with, with one another, whether it's an artist and an arts organization or two arts organizations or or um, coming helping somebody help execute one of their ideas. It's it's continuing to push and push and push, whether it's from organizations or individuals. And there's always, it, it, it may be organizations, but there's people and individuals behind those organizations are pushing pushing the envelope and coming up with new ideas. And, and again, y you get a, a, an army of people who are trying to make St. Petersburg a better place and, and you end up with a better place. Um, yes. And you help, them, you help them become successful. That's a beautiful thing. It takes a city to make a city, right? Once you get, it, it, you guys yep. got the fire going, but the bottom line, it takes a city to make a city. So, and it's nice that we've it's nice that we've now got the city behind this effort. You know, back 35 years ago when I was, you know, an egg. Yes. Um, and um, a young guy at a museum. You know, it was the the, the city was not nearly as cooperative or as interested in in things as as the current administration. And we've we've come a long, long way. I mean, I can remember when you couldn't buy a ham sandwich downtown. Um, it's amazing, right? Let, let, alone, let alone turn around a bus full of, uh, you know, school kids to go visit a museum. It was, you know, it was a challenge back then. No doubt. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, it, folks in St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, if you happen to be an artist or you're creative, no matter where you are in the country, come on down and visit us. Because I'm telling you, man, the creativity, the artist community down here is not only a great community, but they can, they do very well financially too because they have a backup like our you know the, the cultural affairs like Wayne like the city like all these different uh, neighborhoods that are in St. Pete it, it's really cool watching so I know that you just put together and this is really a cool little piece man because you know you have granite involved in it tell us about that the sculpture that you just put together at the roundabout um, on Central Ave so, um, so we do public art, and um, you know, we there was a selection process. So there was a committee that was involved, and and we fund public art in a number of different ways. This was funded through a tax increment district for the Edge District, which is one of the uh, in-town cultural districts that the city has. We've got probably about seven or so of those various districts that are are kind of like an arts district. Um, that group got together and and. They, they meet and discuss, you know, what do they want to spend these these tax dollars on? And is it benches or a roundabout or, or whatever that might be? Okay. And this particular group wanted to um, have additional artwork put in. So we formed a committee and, and um, the group got together, identified some locations. The roundabout was it. Um, you know, a roundabout is a challenging place for any kind of artwork. Um, group of people from the neighborhood, Public Arts Commission, myself got uh, got in. We wrote a call to artists, had a budget through the um, tax increment district, and um, selected an artist who is um, Israeli born. And I believe I'm trying to remember now. Um, I believe he's from Long Island. Um, okay. Where he's based, um, Elon Averbuch is his name. And so this very large recycled granite piece that's sort of it's round, so it resembles a a flower or the sun. And you of course go around it, and and it changes as you drive around it. It's really quite a, an amazing piece. It it does nod to the um, 
the former industrial um, district that that, na that neighborhood really was. Um, and it also looks forward to the recycled granite and, and the, the Sunshine City and, and all of that. So it's a wonderful piece of artwork. And, it, it, you know, you get down Central Avenue, which is the main avenue in St. Petersburg. Yes. Um, and, and you can see the sunrise or set at certain times of the day right through this, this round uh, sculpture. It's really quite spectacular. And it's one of many, many pieces that we've um, had installed through the public uh, support and volunteer committee and selections and so forth uh, over the past uh, seven or eight years. You know what's so cool about this piece? So picture this, Wayne, I was coming down there, in, in our office, folks, is literally, well, we're, we're on third, okay, but we're going up and down Central all the time. I'm coming down the other day, and I'm saying, I, oh, I thought that was the rain, so that's cool to understand that I could see that it was different. And I said, oh, it must have rained on that portion of it. So that is really cool, man, because that it's yeah. looking different. I can't wait to see how the sun comes through it. What is really yeah. intriguing to me of course, you know, we do a financial talk. We're always talking to public markets. What I love what you've managed to do down here is that this is when you get, you have a, you have a, you have, a, you have private funds, you get public funds that you put together. And on the bigger aspect of it though, you're giving people a lot of jobs, man. And, and you're, you know, and I've seen the difference in, in, in Boston, what ended up happening is that the artist, it, it, was, it was the same type of deal when the city got going. The artists really got it going. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is that it just got priced out, okay? So the, and so I know I've already seen the difference here. The difference here is that that community is together enough and they can sustain themselves enough. And I think a lot of it has to do with how many different larger things you've put together so that all of us really understand, hey, man, this is a great quality of life issue also. Yeah, it's a quality of life issue. And, you know, who wants to live in a city with no artists um, and, and creativity? So, you know, yeah. And we have it all around. You know, we've got over 600 murals in the city that, uh, you know, and we started a mural festival. Uh, this, those have transformed um, entire neighborhoods and districts. Um, the public art helps transform that. And, and you know, you do get these great big blocks that, that were sat empty for many, many years. Right. You, you've been here for many years. I have too. You see these big blocks that sat empty for many, many years. And suddenly there's, you know, five story, um, yeah. you know, apartment style buildings there with uh, retail on the ground floor. It's completely transformed districts. And I mean, the artwork has changed that. I, I do think that we're aware of the, the, the gentrification issues and we're working on that and make housing more affordable we don't want to lose the artist no we certainly don't well listen you've done an outstanding job man we really appreciate it i want to thank you for everyone in the city i want to thank you for the city i want to thank you for basically getting those artists up and going and making some good bread have a great Thanks one have a safe one i look forward to having you on again wayne thank you so much